Hey guys, I was just sitting here working on some kind of tedious stuff with these tiny little Pico clasp connectors and it reminded me that I wanted to make a video about magnification. Okay, because you know as you're getting older, guess what? Your eyes are going to get worse and you're going to need more magnification. But there's some stuff that even as you know when I was young, I couldn't have done it. Uh, without magnification. So let me go over the options that I think are the best for you know doing tedious work whether it's crafts or or uh, electronics or mechanics whatever you're doing art even uh, let me show you the options or the options that I've tried and the ones that I like. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do or that you're probably going to think about doing if you're like me is getting yourself one of these magnifier things right this is the old standby. I mean, this one's newer. It has LEDs to light up your area, you know, but it's the, it's the old go-to, right? Uh, mounts on your desk, got a swivel arm, whatever. Well, turns out, man, this thing is tedious, okay? Because you're always, you know, you got to look through this little hole and you got to always get things adjusted and whatever. So maybe... 30 or 40 years ago this was a good idea but nowadays it's not such a good idea there's way better stuff so don't waste your money on this um, yeah that's what I got to start out with didn't like it okay so first thing get yourself a pair of these okay these are glasses made exactly for the distance where I work okay so for me looking at my computer over there it's it's right at arm's distance okay so I had these made for that exact distance changed everything for me I was really starting to get frustrated at work I was I couldn't concentrate um, just having a lot of problems and I got these custom well not this pair but a couple of pairs before that but once I got some glasses made for the exact distance that I was working it was a huge change okay I love these things I use them all I mean I it, it changed my life. So get some glasses made for the distance that you work. Second thing is always have a little loop handy. Okay, this is a 10 power loop. I've had this since the 80s when I was an aircraft mechanic. You know, we used to use it for uh, looking at uh, you know metal to see if it had cracks and scratches in it and that sort of stuff on aircraft. But these things are great because you can just grab it off your desk. I keep it sitting on my keyboard over there, and then you can just look at that chip figure out exactly what it is I can see everything on there the pulse HX 1188 NL okay and without anything yeah maybe I can make it out but definitely not this chip not that chip I can make out that one maybe not that one but anyway great little thing you don't have to set up just sitting there keep one handy 10 power jewelers loop okay all right so that was number two and number three is this i use these all the time look at this you just put it on adjust it to the front of your face has an adjuster back here has a two power light right here so that it lights up everything that i'm doing i wear this thing like uh before i did this video started this video i was wearing it right anytime i'm working back here on the desk I almost always have this on it's a one I think I'm using the one and a half power but look at this you get a whole little kit with it right different size lenses a little cleaning cloth everything you need okay so that that came with it so you can just adjust to whatever you want I use one of the lowest powers but it's perfect keeps everything illuminated and I can, you know, on this this board right here, I, I can read every chip on here with this. So it's perfect for that kind of stuff. I wear this thing, you know, five hours a day sometimes. Uh, everybody at work makes fun of me because it looks goofy when I do it like this. But, man, this is a lifesaver. I love this thing. And it's way better because you can just put it on if you need you know I can look over the top so when I'm looking at my oscilloscope I can look over the top through here and then I can look down here glance up at my oscilloscope I mean so you got 
you get both options with that, right? So I use this thing all the time. I love it. It's only like twenty dollars. Okay, at I got it on Amazon. I'll try to find a. I'll try to put a link down below so that you guys can see what that is. Okay, and then the last thing. So that was number three. The last thing is getting yourself a microscope. Now this is an inexpensive microscope. It's like two hundred bucks or less, maybe 150 bucks now, okay? Now someone sent this to me and I made a video with it, but it turns out I love this thing. And if you've seen the video or seen some of the other videos that I'm doing, oh wait, let me turn, I'm gonna turn on the video right now. Make a video. All right, so, wait a minute. Okay, now I got the video running so we can actually see what's going on. All right. Uh, so you're probably looking at the video right now, but this thing is great when you really got to do some small repairs. I mean, let's let's look at this right here. Okay, so that won't even, that won't even focus, right? Because that's like 0.5 uh, millimeter pitch, maybe less than that. Okay, but when you get it down on here, no problem. I mean, even like look, I'll show you. This is what a uh, this is what my solder tip looks like next to that. You see how big that is? Okay, so this will really zoom down. And that's not even, you know, zoomed in all the way. So I can screw this thing down. Now this doesn't have all the automatic focus and all that kind of stuff because it's a fairly inexpensive one. But the image is great. You can record and uh, you can really get down there and look at your connections. You know, like I just recently, that that is an 0402 resistor and I had to move it. I moved it from down here. I needed to move it up to there. And there's just, it would be so difficult to do that uh, because it's so tiny and to verify that you've got a decent connection there. But with, uh, with this microscope, uh, it, it just makes it possible. All right, so that's my suggestions. Stay away from the magnifiers, magnifying glasses like this, right? You don't, they're just inconvenient, okay? Uh, get yourself some glasses that are made for the distance that you work and get yourself a loop that you have on hand. And then the best thing this baby right here perfect and then on occasion you're going to need a mic you might need a microscope okay and so this is about 150 to 200 dollars i think these were less than 20 dollars this jeweler's loop is a good one so it's probably a 30 30 dollar one um and then you know glasses are 150 bucks or something but it's worthwhile um so as you get older you're going to need all this stuff and uh, these are my recommendations.